What you are about to hear is highly classified. Welcome back to The Zone. I'm Brant Fowler, one of the hosts of The Zone 4 Podcast, which airs every Friday on ComicRelated.com. Uh, you can also find us through our RSS feed on iTunes. And uh, thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Episode 138 came out last week, and one of the things that we talked about was the changeover at ComicRelated.com, changeover of ownership. So um, without further ado, here's a clip from the show. And if you like what you hear, Go find it on iTunes, Comic Related, or our RSS feed. And thanks for your support. What I really want to talk about, and I was tickled pink, John, when I found out that you were going to be joining us for a second night of the week, because obviously anybody who follows them for, I'm sure, is also a member of the Comic Related family. And we had some really startling, surprising, and I, I, I have to add, uh, happy news that, that came out of the blue this past midweek. And that was that ownership hands was once again within what, a month, uh, changing hands again and going back to, uh, Chuck Moore and this time to be divided amongst Chuck and Brand. And John, so uh, guys, tell us a little more about this, please. Why don't you go ahead? That happened this week. <laughs> did, did it really? <laughs> this news to me? No. Wow, that's amazing. No, um, well, as as you say, uh, it's actually been, I guess, what, Brent, two months? Almost two months. Huh? Almost two months uh, since this all went down. Um, Bob has decided that. He wanted to focus uh, his time on his family and uh, his uh, his own creative endeavors as far as, uh, you know, his comic book uh, endeavors and things like that. Mm-hmm. And, um, and he found out uh, to, uh, I guess, his surprise that it's a heck of a lot of work pulling off what we pull off. <laughs> Um, you know, every week. So, so, um, so he wanted a regular life, huh? Yeah, he he <laughs> foolish he foolishly wanted a life rather than you know the constant the constant struggle and uh, burden of the beast that is comic related. So um, he um, he uh, essentially gave uh, you know there had been there had been a legal changing of hands and he just. Uh, legally gave it back essentially <laughs> and um, and Chuck uh, Chuck has rededicated himself to uh, being part of comic related uh, he had his own plans that he wanted to uh, to search out and for a time there he thought that maybe comic related would not fit into those and after some introspection and some discussions with other people in his life, uh, he found out that comic related will fit quite nicely into those new plans. So, so that that was kind of the gist of the changeover. And then the other part uh, kind of came as a surprise to the rest right. of us. That uh, well, I, I, had, I had you know listening to you talk, John. It sounded like a wild game of hot potato, you know? <laughs> a little bit, a little well, bit. <laughs> well, to give a little bit further background to anybody that's listening that may not know what we're talking about, ComicRelated.com is a, is the site where Zone 4 was kind of birthed. That's where it's hosted. Uh, of course, if you're listening to this to this through iTunes or, you know, just through the Facebook links, you may not know this. But it's a comic book news website. It's been around for seven years. John and myself have been involved with it for like three, I think three or four years. And, uh, you know, we're all good friends, uh, the two of us and Chuck. And uh, like John said, a couple months ago, Rob, Bob Hickey of uh, Blue Line Pro, Sketch Magazine and all that, uh, purchased Comic Related. Uh, you know, John explained why and all that. And, uh, yeah, so this this past week, it, I think it happened on uh, Thursday, and we found out about it Friday. <laughs> and Friday I think it's how it went. <laughs> Yeah, and this and this is Saturday as we're recording this. So it's, <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> so, something like that. It, it was very the dust, fast. The dust hasn't settled yet, right? Right, yeah. It was, it was a very fast exchange. Um, and needless to say, uh, we were burning up the email, uh, <laughs> yeah. the avenue of emails between the three of us uh, Friday morning, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, both of you must have been shocked when you when when you know when Chuck came to you and said, "Hey, I'm I'm you know I'm once again taking control of uh, comic related." Oh, by the way, how would you like to be partners? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was. Uh, he had told me he was going to be talking with, with Bob the, the night this all went down, but he didn't tell me anything beyond that. He just said they were going to be talking about it. And uh, so I think I posted on Facebook late that night or something. I was like waiting, wondering, contemplating. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out what in the world was going on because I never heard anything else. And then, of course, when, when the whole email chain started that morning, it was just like, okay, this is a... Uh, very unexpected. Don't know what's going on, and we, I think we sent like thirty emails between the three of us in, in the matter of a few hours, and yeah. just trying to figure this all out and get all the details. And of course, Chuck, you know, springing the whole uh, equal equal partner thing on us, and uh, it was just a yeah. It's been kind of a whirlwind the past couple of days. So, so can I? I know this is early, guys. Okay, so I mean, if if you don't have, you know. Uh, all your ducks in a row. That's totally un- you know, uh, understandable. My, my natural curiosity and question is, though, um, how are you dividing up the responsibilities of managing, you know, the elephant that comic related is? Have you have you broken down the specifics? Do you have a general idea, or are you still in the process of working that out? And most importantly. Whose butt should we be kissing the most? <laughs> well, see, my my idea was right from the start that Brant does everything, <laughs> and we take credit for it. <laughs> because we've no. been kind of doing that for years anyway. Nah. But nah. Uh, honestly, and, uh, you know, I was going to say before we got into that, and Brant doesn't even know this, that I was on my way out the door as well. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, um, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to be gone uh, circa December 1. So uh-huh. <laughs> wow. this this kind of drew me back into the fold. You know, that was that was a private thing between me and Bob that I was that, you know, I was I was about to leave. So so, you well, know, when we yeah, were I doing mean, that thing on Facebook where it says, you know, we almost got out and you drew us back in. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there was a, there was a lot of that going on. But uh, to answer your question, we don't know yet. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we then. have had the time or you know the opportunity to really sit down and make any decisions yet. Right, and and to be to be fair, uh, you know, honestly, when when the whole changeover took place, the first few weeks, I would, I think we were all contemplating about what we were going to do. And it's, that's nothing against Bob whatsoever. No, not at you know, all, we, not at all. We've known no, Bob for no. years too. He's a great guy, yep. and everything. It was just it was a shift, and it it becomes such a big part of our lives that it was like, okay, well things are changing. Do we really want to stick with it? And obviously, you know, John had made a certain decision. I had I had gone back and forth over the past two months several times, um, you know, just trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do. Uh, but you know, I, I love CR. We all do. We all love it, and we don't want to see anything happen to us. So we kind of stuck it out, and uh, yeah. So we we don't know a lot of you know where it goes from here. We're still talking about it. We there are changes that were made that we like, changes that we are reversing, yeah. <laughs> and so on and so forth. Uh, just yeah, there's a lot a uh, lot to be discussed and a lot going on. Well, I mean, you know, again, uh, nobody here. Is, is despairing uh, of, of what Bob Hickey, you know, did, right. and, and I think it was it was just a case of as as we you know joked about a little bit. I think Bob really personally didn't realize, you know, one uh, undertaking uh, mm-hmm. something like comic related is and how big it's gotten and how much time it does need to, to handle. Which is right. why initially my my personal gut feelings, and I think this is borne out uh, by. The overwhelming response that that has uh, come flooding in back to the site from from you know all the members, and I think it's been universally po- positive. Was initially I was like, wow, it's it's, it's going to be awesome to have Chuck back, but that one two step of his 
bringing the two of you on as equal partners. And I went, right. And that's, that, that's obviously what needed to happen. Because if it didn't, then basically Chuck was going to be in the same bind that Bob, Bob was in in a few weeks. And nothing would have been resolved except, you know, again, moving the elephant from one person to the next person. And knowing the two of you gentlemen, as I do, and it's been my, my you know, extreme pleasure to know both of you and know how creative you both are and what you do bring and have always brought to comic related. I, I think this was, this was the evolution that should have occurred all along. So I wish all three of you the best of luck. And, uh, you know, hey, guys, keep us posted as, as things evolve. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, what, I mean, I guess we make it look a lot easier than it is, but the website is a lot of work. It takes mm-hmm. a lot to put the website together every week. And um, it takes a lot just to manage the website. So, you know, what you're saying is very true that part of the reason that Chuck had to step away initially was it's just hard to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, you, in all honesty, we need more people (laughs) to do this because, you know, three people can do it with some, uh, you know, we we can manage to keep the balls in the air, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Two people can't, right? right. And, and one right. and one person forget about it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes, it, right. It right. ain't happening. So you know the uh, and and even the management side of it. I mean, you know, it's it's a daunting task to to keep this train rolling um, the way it should, and to keep everybody yep. happy, to, to keep personalities. Mm-hmm. Uh, where they need to be, so you know, there's just a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean that that's the side of it. That people, a lot of people don't even think yeah, about is you know we, exactly. we deal with a lot of writers and, and contributors and everything, and you know we deal with a lot of companies that send press releases, a lot of indie creators, and you know you have to try to balance everything and try to make sure you're you know giving people coverage and and that and so forth, and you know it's it, it is a lot of. Uh, personality juggling and stuff like that and uh, there, there's just a lot of elements to some to an endeavor like this that uh, people just don't realize until they get into it and uh, again that was part of uh, what went down with uh, with this whole thing so All right well again like I said I, I think what's happened now is um, honestly I, I think you've reestablished uh, an atmosphere or an environment that that's very very excited and, and very supportive. So, you know, I'm sure uh, people listening to, to this episode tonight and listening to both of you uh, are going to walk away feeling that, again, you know, I, I, I joked on the site. I think I, I posted, one of the things I posted within that first 24 hours was, uh, hail, hail, the, the gang's all here. And that's the feeling I think that we have. And, and I hope you guys can, can pull it off. Again, like I said, uh, everybody I know on, on at Comic Related and all its thousands of members uh, really pulling for you guys, and hopefully, yeah, as it evolves, hopefully maybe you can find other like-minded, you know, uh, men and women who might want to join and help out in the process, because uh, if it continues to grow, I, I realize the three of you are going to be stretched awfully thin. Well, yeah. well, kind of um, using that as a jumping-off point, I mean, Brant, you and John kind of know what is needed for the site, where you need to, to kind of have more immediate needs. I'm sure we have people out there who either <clears throat> want to get on board or might know someone who's looking to get on board. If, if you were to address them and say, this is, this is the help we need, um, what would you tell our audience? Is the, you know, what would you say? What are your like, three biggest needs at the moment? Hmm. You want me to take this for a second, Grant? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, right now we need writers. We need mm-hmm. people who are writing original content. Yeah. We need we need people who are either A, doing comic reviews, uh, B... And, and I just, just to add to that, consistent comic yes, reviews. Yes, consistent comic reviews. We, we, we have two reviewers that consistently turn stuff in, right. and then we have 
other reviewers that we love to get stuff from. Don't, right. don't get me wrong. We, we love all our reviewers, but they're, like, very sporadic. Right, but it's occasional. You know, mm-hmm. we need we need people who will consistently give us um, at least a review a week, if not multiple reviews a week. Uh, secondly, we need columnists that will also be, you know, Johnny on the spot, that will give us a column every week. You know that we can that we can set our clock by boom. There's person X's column will be in this spot on the calendar every week. You know uh, we need that. And then lastly, we need people who are going to go out and cover conventions, cover signings. Uh, you know, provide us with ph- photography or. Uh, write-ups of, you know, conventions that we're not going to be able to make. In the danger room, in the school for gifted children, there's trouble that grows. He's got and the cyclops rushing. But don't be afraid, the telepathic voice announces, this is only a This has been a Gonzo Goose production. Bonk!